<coughs> what we've got here is an example of an exam type question. Now in the exam we won't get you to calculate um, ratios, we'll just get you to interpret them. So what we've got here is we've got from uh, problem set 12.3a, which is in your textbook, and what we need to do is we need to do some analysis. Now what the analysis has already been done is the calculations. Now we're going to go through the interpretation section. So really what we're looking at is these numbers here. <coughs> and I'll highlight them all that we're going to look at. Has this company improved or not improved? Right, now first things first, how do we do analysis? Let's just look over this side. My analysis is conducted in two ways. Trend is the first one. Direction of the um, ratio, so which is my trend. Now it can only go three ways. It can increase, it can decrease, or it can stay the same. Increase, decrease, and stay the same. Now if we look at this, we can say from 2012 to 2013, my profit margin has increased. Tell me that. That's what you've got to tell me. Profit margin increased. Gross profit margin, it looks like it's increased as well. So you've got to tell me that as well. Now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and group them. This is my profitability ratios. So profit margin increase, gross profit margin increase. So this would therefore uh, profitability is improving. That's all you have to tell me. You've now interpreted the ratio. It's not, I'm not asking for it's good or bad, I'm just asking for an interpretation. So that's my profitability. The next one's my asset turnovers. My asset turnovers, my assets have gone from, uh, by the looks of it, uh, my average assets over my um, sales. Um, so it looks like we've increased my We've increased my asset base from 533 to 640 over a period of time, and we've asset turnovers decreased. Okay, so asset turnover. has decreased. All right. My earnings per share and my price earnings ratio, these are grouped together as well. <coughs> earnings per uh, cash dividend payout, total debt to assets. Okay, let's have a look. So my earnings per share has gone from a dollar seven to so it's increased, and price earnings ratio has gone from four point seven to five point eight. So EPS or earnings per share increased. Uh, price earnings ratio, or sometimes called a PE ratio, has also increased. So this would indicate. Investors will look favourably. And it looks like my earnings have increased uh, all the way around. Increase in earnings. Alright, that's more interpretation. And my last few is my Cash dividend payout ratio has declined. So my cash dividend payout ratio has declined in relation to uh, my, uh, what have we got? Okay, and my debt ratio has declined as well. So my cash dividend payout ratio has decreased, and my debt ratio has decreased as well, indicating an increase in solvency. And that's my 
that's my analysis of this. Now, what you'll need to learn is how to group your into profitability, into um, solvency, into liquidity. Um, so we have groups of asset, we have groups of ratios, and they are grouped into profitability. Find out which ratios go into profitability. We have liquidity. So find out what ratios go into liquidity. We have solvency. So that, that and we have turnovers. So these are my groups of ratios. So profitability, liquidity, insolvency, the major. This is um, working capital, this is uh, long term. So this is long term, this is short term. Profitability is also short term. Work out how these ratios match together. Now we're not going to give you an increase in profitability but or an increase in liquidity and a decrease in solvency because they are, they should go in the same direction. Hope this helps you on the exam. Cheers.